Taz's morning stroll was interrupted by a noise. Um, what was that? said Tazo nervously. Phew! sighed Tazo with relief as the owl appeared. A little later he heard another noise. The noise seemed to come from behind a tree. Tazza decided it didn't sound dangerous. He peeked around the tree and found Sadie sobbing into a hanky. What on earth's the matter, Sadie? he said. Oh, it's my hat, howled Sadie. Oh, it's over there and I can't get it back. Now, everybody knew how Sadie loved her big red hat. Towser patted the kitten. Don't worry, he said. I'll pop over and get it for you. You don't understand, said Sadie. A lion has taken it. A lion! A lion, said Towser. <laughs> oh, fancy a lion taking your hat. <laughs> well, let's have a look. Sadie couldn't believe it. Towser wasn't known as a brave dog. The lion's behind there, said Sadie. With my hat. Towser climbed up the rocks. At the top, he peered down. Sure enough, there was the lion, fast asleep, with Sadie's hat beside him. Towser collected the hat and took it back to Sadie. Sadie was amazed. But how did you dare go near a lion? She gasped. Huh, there's nothing to it. Come and see, said Towser. You needn't be afraid, he said, as he helped Sadie up the rock. This time, Towser jumped down right onto the lion, picked it up by the tail, and played with it. <laughs> then he bounced back up the rocks. All the way home, Sadie gazed at Towser as if he was Superman. I still can't believe the way you treated that lion, said Sadie. Ah, said Towser. Lions are nothing. Come on, I'll show you again. Towser went off. and returned, dragging an old, stuffed lion. One lion, he said. He jumped on its back, picked it up by the tail, and played with it. See? Nothing to it. Sadie stared. Well, that's a stuffed lion, she said. Stuffed lion? Aren't all lions like this? said Towser. No, said Sadie. That other one was a real one. A fierce one. With sharp teeth. Ah, oh, well, yes, of course, said Towser. I knew that all the time. <laughs> and then he fainted. <laughs>